Hey everyone, welcome to the Game On Daily Saturday evening live stream and today is going to be a dank one because <laughs> we've got some sick topics, Sh shit's hitting the fan with the PlayStation news coming in and we've got even danker guests, I'm going to stop using the word dank, um, but <laughs> before we get into the show, I um, let me just go introduce our guests, before we introduce our new guests, let's let's talk to uh, introduce the regulars of the show. First and foremost, Asa Walker, how are you doing? Oh, I'm so massively stressed. We we the clock struck eight o'clock. We were ready to start, and my PC decided to just catch fire and shut down. So apologies for being late, everyone. Um, yeah, and on a more personal level, yeah, I'm still processing what's going on with PlayStation this week, trying to decide whether I trust like current Jim Ryan or six months ago Jim Ryan. One of them's uh... definitely lying. <laughs> but from there, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so um I, I have my views on that but yeah let's i'm, I'm just hear your take on it unfiltered this time um joined mm. by my boy sham uh, how you doing my g i'm uh happy i'm considered a regular he's so. a layman a layman yeah i'm a layman um, and you excited i am yeah i was i, I watched the uh, sony um showcase thing which i don't usually watch these things so uh this is a new thing for me um, uh, yeah that's good. We got Sam in the back, and so all three brothers are here yeah, to talk some shit. Um, <laughs> and yeah, ready to go. Um, I was just seeing the loading screen, but am I far behind on the thing? Or maybe. Oh no, uh, we are live. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now we've got two sick guests. Um, first and foremost, let me introduce a guy who I actually saw on Twitter, uh, on YouTube, and I just have watched his video so many times that I had to get in touch with him. And he had to come on here because it just it was so good i'm really honored uh, to have tony also known as samurai kibiji um his youtube channel is linked in the description below tony thank you so much for joining us how are you doing sir fantastic i appreciate you having me on it's really cool to be on one of these i just did one of these last night so it's nice to be the guest switch it around and i'm really looking forward to a lot of the stuff we're talking about today because I have a feeling we're going to have very different opinions or similar. Who knows? That's that's if you're watching this, who knows? We'll find out. But yeah. thanks for having me on, man. Appreciate it. And honestly, the pleasure is all, all ours. And we've also got Matt and Matt, um, low key Matt. What's up? How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining the show. I saw you're your welcome, man. coverage as well. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing pretty well. How about you? Yeah, good man. Good man. Really happy to have you on board. I thanks, saw man. your video and guys do check out low key Matt's. Uh, YouTube channel. It's sick. It's the descriptions are down below. You also did a PlayStation coverage as well. So I think we'll have very divergent opinions on this. But this oh, is why we do this. Right. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. sick. So it's, we've Discussion. Got discussions, debates, maybe some shit flinging. No, no, we, we're nice here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm telling you guys. Uh, we've got a shit ton of topics. A lot of it's PlayStation, <laughs> PlayStation centric. But um, yep. let's just start with maybe a positive or definitely a positive in my opinion playstation and the price um mm. guests tony you tell me what do you think about the price what are your thoughts on the playstation price reveal now that we've finally fucking seen the price of the thing dude this game of chicken is finally freaking over i don't i don't know if we're allowed to swear or not here but yes, it's just are. finally oh we are cool well <laughs> this game of chicken is finally fucking over <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry, but it's just, it's been driving me crazy how long this stupid game has been going on. And I just, I'm so glad that it's over. And I think these prices are super, really fair and competitive, to be honest, because I, I've been telling like my community, if they price the base model any higher than 500, uh, and I think this is a topic we'll get into later, but it's just Sony being insanely cocky yeah. and and they know they know people are going to buy these systems and but them going at 499 is exactly I was like, good. You're still a little bit cocky here, but it's like perfect because that's matching. And then you got this thing that's 100 bucks more than the Series S, but it kind of balances out because their digital model is more of a beefy system than the Series S is. Yeah. So it's kind of like it all kind of equals out you got a lot of various options so i i think it's all super fair that's yeah. my opinion no I, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a struggle to to argue against that matt what are your thoughts on that you happy with the price yeah i'm mostly happy with the price um it was what i expected i think it's what everyone expected you know just looking around twitter and seeing what people were saying 
that was the general consensus. It's going to be like $500 for base, $399 for digital. And that's exactly what it turned out to be. Um, and, you know, it's not, I guess, as big of a deal as the PlayStation 4 price was. You know, that was a big deal back yeah, in the yeah. day. I remember watching mm -hmm. E3 2013. And when they announced that price, people lost their minds. Well, the because, yeah. yeah, because of just how royally screwed over xbox was at that point so you know i don't feel the same hype as around the prices of that but it's still amazing it was hype to see that they're actually kind of pricing it in i think a good range and what everyone else was expecting so you get you guys right i watched it yeah i was exactly i was yeah i, I was exactly I, I except i said the digital one was going to be 449 because i thought that was going to be like too much of a sell to pay like a hundred dollars more for a disc drive but i guess since they also said that they're making way less to the digital one maybe that's how they justified it i don't know i think but, they, they make more yeah. money on the digital games because they cut, cut out that yeah meat, right? yeah exactly that's the thing uh, they're taking a huge loss but they'll make mm -hmm. it up through digital stuff yeah and they're also doing that playstation plus thing for mm -hmm. The people who are missing out on backwards compatibility which is kind of one of the big reasons why i got the disc version because of that backwards compatibility and you know no need to really um play games on two different devices anymore uh, but yeah the price nice are, are you guys are you guys looking to buy the uh, digital version or the uh, do you guys buy games on cd still or are you guys buy i do I, I mostly you do, do. That's very interesting. Yeah. yeah, physical copies. I, I got people even nagging me about why do you get physical for Switch? And I'm like, it's because I like those cases, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus, I, you know, I also feel like I own the game. You know, I don't feel yeah, like it's just same. something on a hard drive and it's just a license that I have to say, hey, you can play this, you know. I, I never thought it. of it like that, a license. That's a good one. Because mm -hmm. yeah. that's essentially <laughs> what you're buying. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's that's cool. It's very different from, I think, the rest of us. We I are think, all digital, aren't we? Yeah, I think yeah. 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 digital from now on. And, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in, unless, in, you uh, know. unless it comes with custom kind of fan art mm -hmm. or it's a collectible item. Mm. Uh -huh. well, and, well, you know, considering swapping it or selling it, which I'll never get around to. Yeah. And the yeah. worst part about it is, is like when it's gone off of the hard drive and, you know, those games, they're gone forever. You can't get them yeah. back. Yeah. So that's yep. like the big downside to it. I'm like not into that mostly. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. That's very good. Yep. That's a very divergent view. But I actually think the uh, the PlayStation Digital will be competing with the Series X. Absolutely. That's a good point. We'll get yeah. into that totally. later. But yeah, because we'll yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a beastly price yeah. for the same spec console as Tony said. It's not taking yeah. a hit on the power in the power department. But also another thing that might be a uh, you know. Okay, with the games costing so much more now, PlayStation are not even putting any makeup on before they screw you with 70 pounds or seventy dollars is it? It's $70. games. Okay. 69.99. 69.99. And normally 69 is my favorite number. That is pretty messed up. And I <laughs> mm -hmm. don't know if PlayStation's <laughs> leading the charge with this, with this <laughs> shit pricing. What are your thoughts, man? Tony, you tell me. Am I being harsh? I think Sony this is a dick move, or is this okay in line with inflation or whatever? excuses so it's funny you ask this because somebody was like really hoping me and my group answered that last night and we didn't and it's because we're just talking about the consoles but uh to me i think it's a case-by-case -case scenario because i really like these days you already see it you see like ori in minecraft dungeons they're like 20 bucks even though those are well ori specifically is like a fantastic game why yeah. is it not full price? Well, it's probably because didn't have as much budget or it's not as long. Who knows? Then there's the AAA games that are full price. And uh, we'll get into some of this later. But, you know, there's certain scenarios that I think justifies various prices. Now, as to if all of them, like future all AAA PS tiles being 70 bucks, if you ask me if that's fair or not, I'm slightly on the side. I, I don't know. I might be the optimist here. Um, if we're going to be bashed on these guys, but like, I understand the complaint, especially if Xbox does not, if Xbox does not, oh, yeah. then that's, that's yeah. yeah <laughs> but yeah. If, if they both do, then I kind of understand it because as I just want the developers to get paid and however that happens, I'm yeah. for it basically. Just don't make it outrageous. So we'll see. That's a good so I'm kind of like both sides of it. Yeah. Has, has it been gaming? Thank you for joining the chat. Are you a sick guy? Um, 
Dragon20, thank you for joining, says $60 was already pricey. $70 is a lot. And these mm -hmm. coronavirus times, are, you know, these are tough times. We're in the second recession here in the UK. Shit's not pretty challenging. So, you know, I was going to say, Matt, do you... So get Game Pass instead. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what I was about to say. I was going yeah. to say, Sony's, look, if, if Microsoft don't follow suit, which I hope they don't, doesn't that then drive more people towards Game Pass? Because surely $70. I mean, mm. that it, it depends. It's another yeah. conversation, but yeah, go for Matt. Mm -hmm. um, Seventy dollars, God, that's that's a big tough sell because you know I'm in college right now and I'm yeah. working my ass off to get some money and to have that thrown on in the middle of a pandemic where people are losing their jobs to say, hey, you got to pay seventy dollars for games now. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm. Um, and I remember there's like a quote here saying like. Oh, it's been fifty nine ninety nine since the start of the business. I don't think that's correct because I think in the sixth generation it was forty nine ninety nine for discs. I was gonna say games. it's totally been fifty yeah. bucks in the past. So, yeah. And they and they and they bumped yeah, yeah. it up to sixty for the uh, three sixty era, and so that's just wrong. Um, and it's just maybe they think since it's been hurting their bottom line, this whole thing going on, maybe they just they justify it saying, "Hey, get more money this way," and since games cost more to develop, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I just don't think it was the good, the best move to do right now. This was yeah. the worst time for them to do something mm. like this. Definitely. Um, and I, you know, I do think they will sell because PlayStation exclusives, they're going to sell, yep. you know, that's yeah. how they go. Totally. Yeah, um, but I do think it's going to be, I think people are going to be by less of them. Um, and I do think it's going to make game pass a little, you know, a lot more appealing yeah. to those people, you know, especially if they have like a PC or something like that, and they want to play games on there. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it def definitely uh, a tricky time to, you know, push this kind of policy in. Mm -hmm. Asa, you've been sitting there quietly, and now you're going to slap me with some facts because you always school me when I'm uh, outlandish with my views. I think this is bullshit. I, I want to go the other way around and say that's not justifiable. As the guys have said, game prices have increased in line with inflation. Do you, and Sony seem to be the only one doing it. Do you think? I wouldn't go that actually? far yet. Um, I wouldn't presume oh, okay. that Sony's going to be the only ones doing it. I think. Um, I agree. Like, yeah. like Tony says, there's you want the developers to get paid, yeah. and like various other people have, have said, budgets are spiraling, and um, there's been people saying for for many years that it's not sustainable. And Microsoft's approach to making it sustainable is obviously very different to Sony's, who still want to keep those those budgets going up and up and up. What I don't get in the whole thing is if you, um, particularly if you're talking digital, which there more and more people are, most games are sold digitally now, the mathematical equation on selling them doesn't favour going for these really high prices. I don't think they'll be getting more money back by charging 70 quid a game. Because personally, with the PlayStation 5, if they're charging that, I can see myself ending up paying for maybe 10 games across the generation because it is a massive hit. For a single game, 70 quid is a lot. Yeah. If they sold them at half of that price, maybe I'd buy 30 or 40 games. Maybe yeah. 30 or 40 other people would buy those games. And then you're not making anything back anymore. So I'm hoping they get a bit of a rude awakening and realize that, okay, the people, the early adopters are throwing money everywhere and are likely to buy a few games. I'm going to get a couple of games when the console comes out because <laughs> why else would I have it? Um, yeah. But over time, hopefully they're going to realize that actually, yeah, they got their maths wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I, again, you always come up with some next shit. Ben, thank you for joining. Um, uh, Sham, would you buy games at 70? Was that driving you towards Xbox Game Pass? Well, I've always, I've always been a fan of Xbox Game Pass. I think it's a really, that's a really good, you know, it's a really good thing to have, and it's just really a lot of value for money. Yeah, so, 70 pounds. Um, if if I think the game is worth it, if it's obviously a you know triple A game, it's gonna be dollars or pounds. Same pounds. I think it's gonna be pounds. Both. Yeah, I think both. Yeah. Just, both, yeah. Yeah. both. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. see, that's a good point. He says if if the game is worth then it's triple A, mm -hmm. which and Godfall. Uh, I don't want to take the piss out of the devs on the Godfall, mm -hmm. but Godfall is a low budget game. I don't know if you'll struggle to call it triple A, <laughs> like that. I don't feel like it's triple A. Yeah, I don't think it's triple A. And that's seventy dollars, man. The PC version is thirty quid. Get the fuck out of here, uh, man. That's bullshit. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Come on. But yeah. Yeah, so I think, and, I think it's. Yeah. Oh, I was about Go to say that. I think it's ridiculous. They're even charging like, I think it's forty or fifty dollars for Miles Morales. They said the, the kind of lost legacy, short little snippet game kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit much for that. I I am buying that. That's the one game, the one game I'm getting at launch because I'm not paying seventy dollars 
for another game. I don't so, have the money for that. <laughs> I almost wonder if like maybe maybe they should have made like the PS4 version 40, PS5 50, and then that ultimate version 70. I don't know. Mm. Maybe. Um, Maybe it's yeah. like they wanted it to be 40, but they bumped it up by 10 for the PS5. I don't know. Mm, um, that's DLC, there's... man. That shit should not be. <laughs> it's a, there's an it's interesting a, question, it's... though. Like, there's something I saw on, like, the plan today that we didn't hit, but I think this is worth noting as well. The PS5 controller is 10 bucks more than a series controller. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that is. Yeah. If you look into that. <laughs> Maybe yeah. it's $70. I, be I believe the, that's true. It's the same price as the game. $70. Yeah. But but to be fair, I will admit I think the PS5 controller is a lot more innovative than the Xbox <laughs> One is. But just it's a note I find interesting. Mm -hmm. it's just, yeah. It will wait because it's got haptic feedback and it's well, got that's, yeah that's different from Rumble. But, I mean, you can feel the bow get pulled. <laughs> yeah. And you, wow. yeah. and you also well, we, have, we haven't even yeah that's exactly what yeah we have to feel it yeah. right to see whether that yeah totally. That's it. So we'll I mean see. yeah pricing is getting weird now but the subscription models are getting more and more saucy with playstation plus collection now um which i think asa you were you were saying on twitter is a blatant kind of way to pad out your releases not as a negative like um <laughs> i mean actually um matt said earlier on that um if you're making that switch from buying discs on the playstation 4 to going on to a digital only potentially digitally only playstation 5 then it makes a lot of sense. Um, they're they're going to be mitigating some some problems because they've got some backwards comp um, compatibility. And if you haven't got a disk drive, then then you're potentially losing that. So they've kind of mitigated a problem on that one, which is good. Um, but yeah, the it's, it's not even Sony's fault because Sony aren't sitting here saying this is our like our equivalent of Game Pass. But a whole load of media outlets have said, oh look, it's just like Game Pass, and it really isn't. If Game Pass was a handful of previous generation games. People wouldn't be so excited about it. But. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I think we'll. I don't know if we're hitting that next or whatever, but that there's thoughts they got on that whole matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I do want to defend one more thing about the pricing of the games, being that we spend so much time playing these things. That's true. So Sorry. much time. Do it, Tony. <laughs> Dude, I, I I put sixty bucks on Breath of the Wild or whatever. I oh, put yeah. over three hundred hours into that game. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> online pricing, Nintendo. Oh, my God. oh yeah, <laughs> but that's, but don't let them subject, know about but... seventy dollar games. Don't tell. Don't tell them. Please, <laughs> oh, don't tell no, them. don't do that. No. Oh, but actually, <laughs> they have already priced a uh, game seventy dollars. <laughs> Snipper clips. They priced oh. that on Amazon seventy dollars. So someone told them already. <laughs> yeah. Oh really? Oh well. Yeah. Mario Kart weird camera game but, is. Yeah. Well, that, that looks good though. Yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah, that's it. That's different. We're already different, yeah. going to these things where we're saying, "But that looks good." So we're tight. Stockholm syndrome has already kicked into us, and now we're accepting <laughs> this. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's a weird one. Um, PlayStation Plus collection then goes head on. Well, kind yes. of with Game Pass. But interesting, like this week has been a really shit week for Sony in terms of PR, um, because now, of one PR. of yeah. yeah, because right now you know uh, another thing one and you'll see a series of these fuck ups from Jim Ryan, but he says, mm -hmm. and this may be true for Sony, but he says a Game Pass model is unsustainable for PlayStation. He says these games cost mil many millions of dollars, well over a hundred million dollars to develop. We just don't mm -hmm. see that as sustainable. But then, how the hell are Microsoft doing it? Is it because they have bigger pockets? Oh, what do you think, Tony? Like, so you know, I'm not a corporate manager <laughs> or the CEO or anything like yeah. that, because I would beg Yet. to like even begin to grasp to understand how Game Pass is even a thing with the things that they acquire specifically, yeah. but, mm -hmm. um they got over 10 million subscribers and and just and you don't know if those are regular game pass people or ultimate but i'm just gonna just bundle it together with ultimate because they have like over 100 million gold members yeah. so let's just say mm -hmm. 10 million times 15 right that's 150 million a month that they pocket but who knows how much they have to give to get devil may cry 5 on there three months after release that was insane who knows yeah. how much they have to pay mm -hmm. to get Red Dead Redemption 2 
so close as they did. They only had it for a little bit, but it's Rockstar, you know, like who knows how much they yeah. pay. Yeah. And them not selling their first party stuff at full price. I don't know. I, I can understand the statement because it's so funny because everybody here is going to think like, man, he's defending PlayStation a lot, but it's like, I'm an Xbox guy. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, I understand. Like, I'm just like, as a business, I don't understand. I don't understand mm -hmm. how it feasibly works. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe so. they just like pay them a monthly fee. It's like, hey, we get you your game on your service. We'll pay you this amount monthly. And, you it know, actually maybe... varies. It varies from yeah. game to game, actually. Is it like, oh, it does. Or like, how many it, people play it? Or... it th those kind of metrics, yeah. they yeah. vary. So it's either downloads, like, just how many people play. They have yeah. Some... So like, it's a, like a, a maybe not a negotiated price they pay them a month or something like that. I don't yeah. know. Okay. Um, but I, I guess I hate to defend PlayStation 2, but maybe part of it is because you know playstation games are huge they're big they're like big budget marvel movies you know they have their own marvel looking logo for them now too and stuff like that so they're humongous productions and you know they invest a lot of money in it so maybe they're thinking like since we invest so much money in it and this kind of service doesn't necessarily go for that kind of thing because it would take a while to yeah. um, pay off the costs for something like that uh, so maybe just because since their games are so big and stuff like that, then maybe just wouldn't work out for them in that way. Yeah, if you take, um, so The Last of Us Part 2 is an example where they worked on for five years and had over 2,000 people making that. So I guess when we talk about um, Sony and Microsoft have both said it about the old model of um, spiraling budgets not being sustainable, you can either go Microsoft's route and try and make more smaller games that are sustainable, or you can do things like The Last of Us 2. And I don't think there are many people out there that are bemoaning Sony for actually making these games. Uh, obviously, not everybody mm -hmm. has to be a fan of them. They're a very specific type of game. And there are people out there saying, I don't I don't want to play these cinematic games. They're, they're boring to me. That's fine. Fair play. But a lot of people love them. And I don't think people want them to stop making these kind of games. So it's a difficult one. To... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Akinan says... <laughs> Uh, Microsoft has countless money. It's not as broke as Sony. <laughs> Ronaldo <laughs> says Phil Spencer has already said that Game Pass is, isn't profitable. He has said that. So they are almost like, are they breaking? I was about to say, I've never heard that statement yet. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I love Nato. That's one of my buddies here in this community, but I, I don't recall that statement being said. Um, I, I, I do I recall the interview. I don't know the exact one, but they did say that. They're, they're, it's, they, I don't think they were all out said that it's a loss maker. But they they certainly said or alluded to the fact that they're not making a profit from it. I actually think it was Aaron Greenberg, or you, but I may you may correct me on this, but it's definitely happened. Well, it's Game definitely Pass. Like, I'll, I'll send yeah. I'll send a link out. Yeah, Game Pass. They're making profit on that. But they won't because it's fucking crazy pricing, isn't it? But Microsoft know know what they're doing. You know they've been around for years. They they, they know how to make money. It, it's not like mm -hmm. they're gonna and they, they're pushing it so hard. I think the sentiment in the community is that it's a really good service and people are sticking with it. Yeah. You know they're not gonna. I don't. It, they're not going to keep something going that's going to be losing their money every month. Like, you know, yeah, it's they, not charity. They, yeah, it's not charity. See, thing. that's the thing. It has to be working in some way because otherwise, why would they keep doing it? You just you don't know? Know. They're, I mean, they're, but they're trying to get people into their ecosystem, so it makes sense. But it yeah, has no. to be working for them to keep expanding it the way they do. Yeah. If it wasn't working, I don't feel like they would be expanding it. If it yeah. was just good enough, then they just keep maintaining it. But yeah. them keep expanding it, I feel like that's a sign that something is working, whether that means I got, uh, so this is a prime example. I have a buddy that is like, he has Game Pass, whatever. And he's like, I really want to own this game though. So yeah. he tried it out and he's like, is it leaving? I'm like, yeah, it is. He's like, dang it. But now that you played it, by the way, you get a discount of that game yeah. in the marketplace. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm going to buy it. That's yeah. what a lot of people probably do. There's yeah. like people will just buy the game after trying it out. That's Sales that's another way. By the way. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a good point because what that does is invite people into the ecosystem, as you said. They're, they're, and yeah. they've said that people are trying mm -hmm. games they normally wouldn't try, and they get mm. those discounts afterwards. Uh, and then they make it. Blastwork says that Austin Three Devs have stated that all game pass fees were negotiated individually. Yeah, I know that. Metrics yeah. included amount downloaded, mm -hmm. times played etc so yeah okay. so it's very it's dynamic and depends on the deal on the day uh with the developer in question so yeah um moby says gaz non-profitable means they're making a loss or even break even at best yeah i, I agree with you moby I, I we just don't Which have I believe. kind of uh you know insight into that i doubt we will 
until they we do never profit. will <laughs> we never will until they make a profit and then they can say hey it's profitable and then we're like oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let us know when it's yeah. when they can boast about it <laughs> there you go <laughs> Um, another instance, this is probably the main instance where Jim Ryan really put his foot in the mouth, is cross-gen games. Like he, like this is this. I still, I still can, cannot reconcile how this has happened uh, because, and I don't like to use the word lying because it's quite a raw word to use, you know. But he must have been lying because he would have surely known when he made the statement that Mike, uh, Sony, and PlayStation believe in generations and they were peddling this narrative that you know we aren't like xbox we'll make a value proposition for the playstation 5 by making sure that that's the only place you experience these next gen games that are built to from the ground up to take advantage of these and they can only work on playstation 5 alone and then and this one really pisses me off after the showcase it starts getting leaked out that spider-man miles morales is on playstation 4 and horizon forbidden west their big you know flagship game is also on playstation 4 Tony, am I just raging for no reason, or is that a piss take the way it was, uh, the whole thing? Just, what's your take on that? So, this is another one of those cases that I'm mixed, because I think they should have been way more transparent about this, completely. Mm -hmm. um, and I just find it a little bit annoying that they do this, like, they don't, they don't boast this. They don't, they, they... I think it was. They don't want you to know like about some... it. No, they don't want you to know about that. But that's the thing. It's like here's yeah. all the good stuff. Here's the good. Here's yeah. the good. Here's the good. Which I is mean... like that's what that's what marketing is. You do the good because people don't want to know about the bad, and um, and we still told you the bad, but we're gonna do it through a comment on Twitter. <laughs> kind of uh, for an asterisk. asterisk. A little yeah. asterisk there. It wasn't asterisk. even an asterisk, man. They, they had <laughs> asterisk all across their videos on their showcase. <laughs> But then yeah. after it ended, we were live on stream as mm -hmm. it happened, and we had someone, a really cool guy called Italian Clowns, who joined us, and he was breaking the news to us, and mm -hmm. we were like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Like, You're ashamed. I said, like Asa says it's, that's too strong a word, but he quite rightly says it's deception by omission, I think yeah. is what you said. Like the Dark Souls thing? They, they, they might be fairly long words, but they're not that strong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Deception yeah. by omission. Um, it's, yeah. it's hard to argue uh, that it's not. Um, <laughs> the damn. flip side of this, though, is that so I've been telling people like that's what that's probably the most enticing thing to me about a PS5 is that I love the idea that all these games are completely utilizing that system. Uh, yes, games yeah. can scale visually. Visually, things can scale, but and that's what Phil Spencer, everybody's talking about. PC, we scale all the time, but game design. That's things like how many AIs are there? Yeah. How does the combat go? Yeah. Um, what's what what is the level design like? Because you might have to make corridors or whatever. Like that stuff. That's the stuff that's impacted when you have to build for a previous system. Yeah. And that was the thing about PS5 that I was like, that's really cool. But it's yeah. not all of their games. It's not all of them. They're probably gonna trinkle a few like over the next couple years, maybe. Just like not all of our first party stuff, but a few. And then Xbox, they said that we're going to have stuff on the one. But if you look at their July show, they yeah. actually have a lot of games that didn't say Xbox One. Exactly. So it could mm -hmm. be put on either side. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. You no, know, it's interesting because when um, we've had quite a few conversations on this show about it um, as to whether we preferred Microsoft or Sony's approach, because a few months ago they were yeah. polar opposite sides of the spectrum and there were advantages oh. to both. So uh, Microsoft's, we want to be inclusive and support the previous generation, mobile phones, PCs, all the rest of it has merit. Sony's, we don't want to support the previous generation. We want to show you what your new hardware can do has merit. Mm -hmm. And in both cases, I mean, I know, I know it's what I said. I think um, Gaz as well, though, was um, really, you don't want a strict policy on that. You want to take it case by case. If you're trying to push a system and do a game that's going to be exciting, of course, we yeah. want to see the new hardware flexed and we don't want to see that game held back. If you're going to do a game that's suitable for cross-gen, of course, that's the best thing to do. And it seemed fairly obvious and it didn't make too much sense that they were being so strong in their statements. And on the both backtrack, <laughs> but Sony's yeah. definitely feels more, more deliberate in them. Um, in bending the truth <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like they balanced out it's yeah. almost like they like evened out <laughs> no but that's a very good and i think sensible approach to, to the way i've been just flipping tables on this but I, I actually it comes from disappointment as well because i i i liked playstation's approach i don't want 
compromised experiences. And I don't agree with the notion that these games can scale. It depends on what devs are doing. I really want Halo Infinite to be next gen only. Um, Tony, I watched your uh, video reaction to Halo Infinite, and um, you know, I was, uh, you know, it was, it's, it's kind of sad to see because I, I had the same feeling as you, and you're like super hyped about Halo. Then I saw your video reaction to it, and you're like, oh man, this looks kind of blocky. You're saying, yeah. <laughs> I wish. That's what's kind of blocky. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> and and then you know that that comes about to me. It comes about as a result of cross-gen development. I don't think that would even look like remotely like the way it does uh, if it was only on Series X. So Sony doing the same thing is a bit of a slap to the face, but it made worse by the fact that, as Asa says, it's just a little bit harsher in there. Yeah, there were some really specific examples there. because the whole Miles Morales thing um, was always fairly ambiguous as to what it was, uh, whether it was DLC, whether it's the whole game, all the rest of it. And as part of that ambiguity, people did ask them directly if that's coming to the PlayStation 4. And they absolutely yeah. dodged the question. <laughs> they didn't say exactly. no. Exactly. That's, that's all just delivering, transparency. They're delivering dude. the best experience to all PlayStation players mm. in this battle. Dude. <laughs> Can we get Matt to jump in here? Because he hasn't said stuff yet. I want to get Matt's stuff yeah. on this, dude. Um, it's just, you know, it's just weird for first party stuff to do this because, you know, third party, it's a standard it's thing that. Yeah, because you know, yeah. with with the transition from the PS3 to the PS4, we had games coming out like three years in. I remember Black Ops Three that came out in 2015. Three years in, that came out in the 360 multiplayer only, but still. Um, but just to see it done with first party is just really strange, especially with the way he said it before. Because yeah. I guess he's not technically wrong saying, "Oh, we believe in generations of delivering the best version, you know, best games on this thing." He didn't say, "Oh, we're doing it super exclusively." It's a game of words, but still, I, it's, I think he was yes. fairly, fairly direct with what he said. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was just. I don't remember the exact quote, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, it's still. There is a like, gray area, though. I agree yeah, they, area. yeah, there is. He was playing a game of words there. <laughs> Marketing just came away. Again, the, the omission. Technically, we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Technically, we didn't. Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's a, it's it's a bit of a shitty move. They did. There was a there was a little bit of grey there, but then it's the whole silence of it. So, you know, Sony have been playing this whole quiet game, and Microsoft have been really open about things. They've been really frank to the point where they're being, you know, kind of oh. ridiculed, not just. Like Phil Spencer gets in the neck, Aaron Greenberg gets in the neck, and there have been so much disclosure, but they opened themselves up to more criticism because they're they're being very communicative. Where Sony Dude. just trying to mm -hmm. be cool, not say shit, but now mm -hmm. that echo chamber of that silence, that vacuum, has just uh, come to bite them in the ass because then there you go, they can't navigate. I've been telling that. people like all year the transparency that xbox has been having this entire year has been mm -hmm. through the roof dude yeah. it's amazing and you're mm -hmm. right like yeah this it's like this silence that playstation has been doing it's like I, i've heard before yeah but they don't need to say anything you're right but it's just respectful they don't yeah. have to say anything because they know they own the market they know it so yeah, yeah they don't have to say anything but it's just respectful that's mm -hmm. all that's the respect point. This is why I got so vexed when. If you want to, you don't have to be egotistical about it. You know, you don't have. Yeah. You just you, you don't have to just say anything. You, you, they had to go and say, "Oh, we're live believing it." They had to go and head and say it in the first place, and that's yeah. the thing that like ticks yeah. me off. Like, yeah. They made uh, a statement. Of and then this is the, this is just starting to wrap the, uh, unravel now. That whole silence and we're, we're the good guys. You know how with PlayStation Four they're like, "This is how you share games." You know they're really <laughs> laying it thick. And now, ah, they're just getting <laughs> fucked. And then the next thing, <laughs> and the next thing is fucking them over again. The money hatting. Now they've been money hatting all through. And our first game that they show off, Final Fantasy, is exclusive to PlayStation and PC. They can you describe what this means exactly? Like money hatting, like they're acquiring exclusives. Is that what you mean? Yeah, just yeah. acquiring exclusives okay. by making it rain on devs and make, locking it off on PlayStation. Gotcha. So. You know where my views on that are, though. I don't think. Mm -hmm. Well, if, we, if you if you chastise Sony for money hatting, yeah. Well, where do you stand on on uh, Microsoft buying up all the uh, all these studios and essentially buying exclusives that way? That's a really okay, interesting argument yeah. that Microsoft mm -hmm. are buying these studios mm -hmm. and then essentially depriving PlayStation from it. 
But mm-hmm. look at the studios that they were building. These were smaller studios. They they needed the money. Like Double Fine needed the money. Ninja Theory were indie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they yeah. started building a pool of talent. So they didn't mm-hmm. just deprive that as well. But also the counter to that is Xbox is a much more o- more open platform. You can play them on mm-hmm. Project X Cloud. You can play on your phone. Mm-hmm. You can play on yeah. PC. You can play on Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sony games. You saw they said the Star Wars. You can play on PC. So that was only Final mm-hmm. Fantasy. Really. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's yeah. no other. They're, they're all on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. You can't play and, that. You know, and also the other thing is that Microsoft didn't really have that many exclusive teams to begin with, and yeah. totally. I think they need to go ahead and get that done since PlayStation's all about that, and they need to compete with that. So, exactly. They were get they were getting it in the net for years, years, mm-hmm. years, years. You yeah. don't have enough students. Um, you don't have enough students. Yeah. Finally, my, did it. people are making um, the argument. They were in fairness. Mm-hmm. Um, my, I guess my view on it is console exclusives for third parties. I'm okay with that. You know, what I have a problem with is when DLC is cut oh, off. Okay. That yeah. is where I'm like, nope, no, 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 no. Because yeah. then you're just gimping another version of a game. They're just, you're just gimping it for money. And they, oh, they bought the wrong console, you know? So screw you, you don't get anything. So you mean like the game released to both platforms, but they uh, but, don't release like an expansion to like the, the Avengers, PlayStation or Xbox? The Avengers specifically. Yeah, that's, that's a prime what, example. Yeah, yeah cool. that's what I was, okay. that's what I was meaning to say. That kind of stuff, if I've heard that they might be doing more of that, if that's the case, no, 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 no. I'm not on board with that. But, and I would agree. Oh, for me, you? when um, when you talk about the similarities between Microsoft buying studios, and Microsoft have paid for some exclusive games and things in the past as well. Um, yeah. But particularly now, when they're buying studios and things, with Microsoft, mm-hmm. it's, it's a subtle difference, but the perception I have is that they're paying to bring more content to players, whereas yeah. Sony specifically paid mm-hmm. to exclude other people. Yeah. And that's why it feels so much more They're, they're, kinda, they're being the big bully. <laughs> Being yeah. a big bully saying, hey. Yeah, Final Fantasy 16 was going to happen. It was going to sell fine. Yeah. Nobody needs that. Yeah. They're just paying money to mm-hmm. stop Xbox and Nintendo players having a shot at it. And, and, and you know, knowing game industry nowadays, they're just going to turn around on it again. It's like, oh, well, X- it'll come to Xbox a year later, like they're doing with Final Fantasy 7 Remake. So mm-hmm. it's, I'll, yeah. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> I'll believe uh, it so when I, I want to like interject here. So the, there is, I see some people saying like, well, it's it's them treating their their fan base well. It's them treating their marketplace super well. It makes them feel special, which isn't wrong. It's just if you look at the grand scheme of place like I'm a PlayStation user, I'm happy versus I'm a gamer. I want to be able to play this wherever I want. Yeah. It's just very mm-hmm. two different yeah. things. And I um, feel like if you're just focused on PlayStation, then yeah, mm-hmm. good for you. But at the same time, yeah. it just I guess I'm I don't, mad. I, don't... I'm, I, I was interested in Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I guess I don't know if this is the best example, but I guess it's like you know, hey, there's this guy, so I'm like, hey, I'm gonna pay for your lunch. It's gonna be all covered. You know, it's gonna be great. And it's like cool. But the way he got the money to pay for it was he jacked someone else and stole his wallet. You know. <laughs> and that was the way you got the money. So yes, you're getting the good stuff, but what was the cost to get it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That may be an extreme example, but it's quite yeah, I mean, <laughs> a severe example. I mean, uh, but I'm you know, I'm but I'm you, I'm you, I'm get you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> to me, to say. like I was thinking of more like, hey, I'll treat you I to lunch, it. but we can yeah. only go to that restaurant. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I feel like it is. I, like you're the in the ex- mood for Chinese, oh, you're know. going to Mexico. I still think it. I still think it's kind of like just stealing stuff from another platform. It's walking up to a group that's yeah. already going for Chinese and saying, "I'll pay for it, but only if he doesn't come." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was a bit. Extra. I came with. The, I came up with that on the fly. So. <laughs> uh, Moby doesn't agree with you. Ace he says Xbox Studios. Game it's, it is subtle. It's a subtle yeah. thing, and I'm sure if Microsoft were allowed to put Game Pass on PlayStation, they would. But it's um. I can see the argument either way, but my perception is that it just it, it feels like Sony are paying to stop people, whereas Microsoft are paying to bring content. But, yeah, that's mm-hmm. yeah. And and Nato has a good point here. I see he says JRPGs tend to sell better on PlayStation. I would totally agree. I mean, yeah. I have like a lot of kind of yeah. a, a weeaboo yeah. fan base kind of a thing, and I always try to do Xbox play dates. They never hop on it, and it's because they're all about those JRPGs and they're all on PlayStation. I'm not discriminating, but 
it's just what's happened in my experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Final so Fantasy, he, he's yeah. right. JRPGs sell more on PlayStation. And Final Fantasy has a fair heritage on PlayStation. It definitely fits the platform, yeah. but it was going on that platform anyway before Sony paid for other people not to get it. So, oh, really? Yeah. Final Fantasy 16, yeah, it's, it's the 16th one. They weren't about to stop and say, hang on a minute, I don't think anyone wants this. It was coming out anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Um, all this talk about money hunting and stuff, but ultimately, yeah. day one, launch titles, you know, mm-hmm. you know, all that, the politics of it aside, people are going to go where the games are. And I want to talk about the PlayStation 5 launch titles. Despite that, aren't they just killing Microsoft, though? Despite their saying padding off their launch titles yeah. with, with, with the PlayStation collection, um, they've got Demon Souls, they've got Spider-Man Miles Morales, you call it DLC, it's fine. A Ratchet and Clank in the launch window, whatever the fuck that means. Um, um, who knows but, what that means? Yeah. yeah, who knows what that means? Uh, especially now. March, I would assume. Maybe March. first quarter. Spring. Maybe that's Spring. what that means. First quarter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, which, which, I mean, does anyone here think that the Xbox is, is that having an impact on your choice to buy either an Xbox Series X or, or S or PlayStation? Uh, I mean, let everybody I think, else go first. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think. I think just you know Halo Infinite getting delayed was a huge blow to them. I think I think it was going to be a huge blow either way because if it came <laughs> out bad, yeah, then it would have been bad that way too. So there was no way to do that at launch and have it be good. Yeah. So it was, you know, I'd rather have a a a finished game when it launches instead of a, a unfinished game when the console launches. You know what I mean? I'd rather have that. So, but it's still. Demon Souls, Spider Man, Sackboy. I think that's one of them too. I think that's one of them too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, it, is. it is. Okay. And it's also come in pre installed with that uh, robot game, whatever it is. Astro's Astro. Astro. Playroom. Yeah, they got, yeah, they got a, they got a pretty good lineup. Um, I think it's, I don't remember the, uh, the PS4 lineup. I know they had Killzone Shadowfall, and that was like the one exclusive they had. Um, mm. But, yeah. you know, they have a couple exclusives at like first party studios with this one. So I think it is. A, much better lineup than PS4 had. Yeah, I thought Spider Man looked amazing. Yeah, I, I yeah, that was, yeah, that was insane. Yeah, yeah look, the, the, <laughs> I, I know we've talked about ray tracing and puddles. <laughs> talked about it. I too. was impressed by that. Yeah. Well, which one? Because you, you guys, you guys kind of listened to me and bought the Xbox. Well, well, you actually did the opposite. I said get a PlayStation Four. You guys got the Xbox One. What are you gonna get now? <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna get... we're gonna go with where where our friends because we're yeah. social gamers yeah. right but mm. uh, in terms of next gen titles next gen graphics on showcase that was gameplay footage that we saw and it looks amazing and that's the, the problem man what the fuck is the xbox has yeah. no gameplay like you know, it's, it's on paper the specs are sick yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. but yeah. demon souls yeah. demon souls looked really really good as well i mean that's mm-hmm. the kind yeah, of game that i like as well yeah that, that is, is visually yeah. to me that is like the most visually stunning game so far i've seen on yeah. these next gens yeah. <laughs> agreed mm-hmm. apart from like black mm-hmm. king wukong but then we don't know if we're going to see that um yeah and anytime soon yeah that's definitely the yeah you're right you're right that is the most visually stunning game i think i'd put it over uh spider-man i would as well oh yeah oh yeah what, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you think tony what well, are your thoughts on on this on launch and what are you buying so so just to kick this off here playstation's mur- murders this category we we talked about this last night because I, I i was basically trying to break down each of these consoles to my audience and one of the categories we talked about was games which we're talking about longevity but just also the launch lineup and launch lineup dude yeah Demon Souls, Spider Man, Ratchet Clank, Clank launch window, but you guys didn't mention uh, the Pathless. I think that looks promising. Uh, Odd World, Soulstorm, which whatever, but hey, it's there. Bug Snacks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like a, a, a killer indie game. <laughs> indie game, Jet the Far Offshore, and Godfall doesn't look interesting, but it's like a good lineup, and the first party stuff is there. And I think Destruction All Stars actually looks kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. but yeah. Xbox they got some stuff which is cool um mm-hmm. it, a lot of it though you can play on pc or it's like the upgraded version and whatnot but um they do have some i i, I have a list in front of me i won't read them off but they do have some like scorn looks kind of interesting but the medium this is this is a thing though because we talk about everybody has different definitions of value that's the thing people say like oh value just means the most affordable it depends like value has lots of different definitions 
Yeah. And Good point. I got a buddy that's been gaming on Xbox for like his whole life. And he's really leaking at PlayStation because he knows there's so many appealing games at launch that he is like, dude, there's a lot of good games here. And even not at launch, they're just like, yeah, but 2021, we got Horizon Forbidden West and God of War. Look forward to even our first year, dude. It's like, nah, they yeah. got it. Mm -hmm. yep. They got it. You know, but I think, look, you buy these consoles more than just for, I mean, for the, just the launch window. I totally agree. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where, that's where I think Microsoft are really going to kill it. Um, because normally some, Microsoft really blows its load early on and then later on kind of trickles down and it kind of dives. And this gen has been slightly uh, different because, you know, we've had some really good games actually from Microsoft Fair Party Studios um, in the last few months. But very diverse. But Will of the Wisp and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Two I games this year that are 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. Exactly. Well, of the Wisp is sick. Such a sick game. Uh, really, people need yeah. to play it. It's coming out on Switch, so you have no excuse not to play it. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, so I think this, I'm really excited about next gen. It's just the shit that Sony's doing is kind of putting a damper on it. But the main thing, the takeaway from me is that, you know, the, the competition is real. Xbox was, Xbox One, let's be frank, started off really bad. It was just a disaster. Um, Sunset Overdrive was pretty cool, but TV, buy Insomniac. TV, TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 buy Insomniac. It's, it's, it's sad that Xbox hardly has any exclusive that we go back to Sunset Overdrive, which was near launch, shown that launch, so it's a bit weird. It was a weak output, but this time things are going to be very different and Sony know it. And just why they're throwing shade. And another Jim Ryan quote, where he, another time he puts his foot in his mouth. He, he's on a roll, man. He's the new Don Matrick, this guy. This guy is oh, He's on a roll. He's going to get fired at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> um, he said he's throwing, show, he's throwing shade on the Xbox Series S now. He says one one thing that can be said is that if you look at the history of game business, creating a low spec, reduced spec console is something that has not had great results in the past. Jim Ryan, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> one, which reduced what spec console is he talking about? Mate, yeah. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I can think of one and a half example i'm gonna, I'm gonna really reach here for some examples <laughs> <laughs> so there's um the xbox 360 had an arcade edition that had no hard drive okay <laughs> no that's a significant reduction in spec yeah. and it oh yeah no hard drive. and it was a yeah. problem and it held back the generation in a big way so Did it? Oh, yeah because they, they had to <laughs> Well, yeah, you couldn't develop a game with a hard drive in mind. So open world games and things like that was one of the biggest things of this generation in terms of technical advancements is that you could count on there being a hard drive. Oh, OK. Whereas you couldn't um, in the whole of the previous generation, because at launch, there was a version of the 360 that didn't have a hard drive. So in that didn't sense, really massively, I mean, what game apart from maybe say, I don't know, Metal Gear Solid or something, did that um, Xbox not have? That you well, it, it had some games, but that's the thing. Multi-platform developers had to develop their games without a hard drive. And several of them came out when the consoles launched and said the most exciting thing is that we've got hard drives now oh, okay. for this generation. Okay. And that meant that they could now, stream open world games and things like that that you couldn't really do very easily on the last one because you were constrained to the RAM. Um, yeah. So that's one example. It, it came with one in the later stages, didn't yeah. it, if I'm not mistaken? It did, because yeah, I, but the I fact that it, it started started with I, it. I remember when I got mine, it came with a hard drive. And I remember yeah. when you bought Halo 4, you had to install the multiplayer on the hard drive so in order to play that. So, Yeah, it was literally, it was at the launch of the 360. And I don't know, I think the arcade yeah. edition went away at some point completely. But the fact that it existed meant they had to cater for it. Mm -hmm. So Jim so Ryan has it's, that. It's funny that you mentioned the 360, though, because uh, it... It kind of opposite thing, like to, uh, oh, to kind fine. of tail in the last thing we mentioned, but also <laughs> this is that, um, like you were saying, guys, like you're looking at the long term thing of these games. Like, yes, PlayStation is coming out way faster. They're running out of the gate, whereas like Xbox is kind of jogging, you yeah. know. And it's it like they have a lot of potential in the long run. But in terms of this subject, uh, speaking about long run, that's what 360 did last or sorry two gens ago yeah because if you look at it the 360 was actually highly outselling the ps3 yeah, yeah. No, and that's that why jim ryan's quite falls apart I, <laughs> yeah i guess 
I would have massively been begged to differ because they rushed out that console to beat the PS3. So yeah. they were thinking yeah. very short term and they removed the hard drive from it and it was a broken mess. So they were thinking yeah. short term in that case. But it worked out more. The pacing was- It worked yeah. though. That's yeah. the thing. A uh, PS3 did outsell at the tail end. Of and it. that's the in thing. In the tail end, yeah, yeah. the long yeah. run, yeah. And the output came in and they caught up and this is where the Xbox mm-hmm. is doing that now. Uh, Which is why the long game is important. I was going to say. That was a thing. The 360 yeah. was outselling for the most of that gen, but yeah. then the PS3 came around. Next the long bit. game mm-hmm. is important. Yeah, every, every every gen, it's so you're always excited about mm-hmm. next the next gen when it's coming out, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. So you have these like launch mm-hmm. titles and you think, well, it's always going to be a bit shaky. They have to do, they have to do like, you know, system seller games and stuff to kind of get you interested. But mm. you know you don't have to buy it day one. You you can wait a year. You can wait. You know you, especially you can, now. <laughs> yeah, well exactly. And so you can you know you can wait and you can see and 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 consoles are going to be selling not on day one. They're going to be selling uh, throughout the whole next year. Yeah, they, they will. You're so, right. So you know you can sell more on day one because it's not like you can go around to your mate's house as easily now with COVID and just play there. Yeah. Yeah, my everyone plays online. No one gives a shit about yeah. coming to play. Uh, it's coming to PC. <laughs> yeah. worry about it. But, it, but it, like, the Series S itself, like, do you think? Hey, so you're the tech bod here. Do you I'm think like, the Series yeah. S will? Yes, you are. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you... I know what you're going to ask. Yeah, do I think the Series S is going to hold back or compromise next gen games? Yeah, it's an interesting one because okay. um, Microsoft, when they announced the Series S, made it sound very, very simple. In, that, um, in the way that you could scale games down to it from this from the Series X. And it sounded wonderful. And I still think overall, I've cut to the end here, I do think it is a fantastic little console and it won't hold things back in significant ways. But what they have said that's a little bit more concerning over the last week is when they've been talking about the Series S, there's been a lot of um, talk about what you can do, but that overall developers are going to have a lot of control of how they use the power that's in that box. And that's actually kind of the opposite of what I wanted to hear for it. What I wanted to hear for it is that you make a game for the Series X, you you tick a box, you compile it, and you've got a Series S version that runs at a lower resolution. But from what they're saying about developers having choice, so maybe you want ray tracing on it, maybe you don't, maybe you want this resolution, maybe you don't. That means that actually there is some freedom for the developers, and with that is inevitably, like, um, like our guests last week were saying, there's inevitably going to be some outline cases where it causes problems for developers because it is another SKU that they've got developed for. And that's... Like I said earlier, so to cut to the end, I, it's got the it's got the SSD, it's got the CPU, it's got the important things. It's not going to hold back the design of games, but it is going to put some work onto developers. Yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter going on about, oh, it has less RAM and less processing power than the Xbox One X, but I don't think what they understand is that it's a different architecture. It's yeah. a different like it's a more efficient, more optimized oh, architecture based off of the series x which is the next gen architecture and stuff like that so it's not based off of the last one obviously yeah um and you know it also has road tracing baked into it so i don't think those people understand that I just I think jason that. ronald said that uh, made a statement kind of or kind of did a bit deeper dive or made a statement on on an interview on a basis so mm-hmm. and he did say that he say that you know the velocity architecture and all these mm-hmm. things with the rdna too they're really it's not the same so, um, yeah, I, I agree with you. People are taking it on face value. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the results will speak for themselves. Yeah. And it's a bit like what you mm-hmm. said. Now, Microsoft know what they're doing. They wouldn't, they wouldn't release the most powerful console on the one end and then stifle everything with, uh, you know, another console. Oh, it's it's a really it. well-considered machine, I'm sure of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, Tony, would you I... get the Xbox Series S or are you going for the X straight? So, so for me, uh, I I just rather have the X because. So, fun fact: I'm gonna be going from like a one S to oh, whatever yeah. these systems are. So it's gonna be a big upgrade for me either way. Oh, yeah. um, but uh, I just prefer to have the the X just because I want to like get a nice TV and actually start to experience that 4K side of things. Plus, I want I need that disc drive. I need disc drive. But um, but for those that don't. Ha- they don't care about disk drive. Maybe they're just primarily on PC and they're used to that digital life. All they do is buy games on Steam or whatever. So this might be the console for you just to mm-hmm. be able to have great 1080p or 2K gaming. Mm-hmm. We'll see about the 2K thing because I think the they will have to work out things a bit over time. Mm-hmm. But I did read through that 41 chain tweet that Gavin, somebody did. Oh, Gavin. I read through that whole thing, man, and he was breaking it down. I'm just like... I don't, I'm not a designer, but this is kind of making sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. I read that. Um, 
his biggest thing was like mm -hmm. the ram and that kind of made sense but then he broke down the mm -hmm. ram thing and i was like mm -hmm. okay and you know and with that payment plan oh that just makes it so oh, much yeah. more yeah, I completely forgot that payment plan yeah because yeah i especially right now people yeah. are time finding a job hard on money people, pay zero percent you know, credit yeah yeah there you go yeah. um and they it, it, honestly if they just want to get a next gen console and are having a tr hard trouble with that xbox with the payment plan i think is probably the best option for them honestly. yeah totally. and, uh, and yeah. here's the neat like twofer is that mm -hmm. like hmm i don't know which one to get well then get a ps5 and do an all access plan on a series s <laughs> if yeah. you've never been in that ecosystem mm -hmm. just get them both and get it for this price mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's like that's the thing about series s it just makes it accessible if somebody's not for, already on there for 29 uh, and 49 dollars a month you get a console tw with 20 a, 25, 25 25 and 35 25 35. 35 you get a console and an entire library of games like that and, and play yeah. it on on the go exactly <laughs> The, if you um, have an Android. Just yeah. to come back to the chat there. So Blastoise nope. just um, just said that is the anchor for the um, for games is going to be PCs with the hard drives rather than the Series S. Just to be uh, just to clarify what yeah. I was saying earlier, I really am not yeah. saying that the Series S will be any kind of anchor for next gen games. Quite the opposite. So it's got the important mm -hmm. components in there. All I'm saying is that it is unfortunately going to be some extra work for developers that are jumping into the X Xbox ecosystem because. Uh, it doesn't all just just do it for them. They do have to optimize. They do have to make their decisions. It's another SKU to develop for. That's the only downside mm -hmm. to it. Apart from that, it's fantastic. And I have um, so in my house we have three Xboxes. So there's four of us living here, and of the four, I'm the only one that gives a shit about 4K. Really am. I've got uh, two kids and I've got a wife, and they do not care. Like um, we'll go to watch the film. Most yeah, people don't. But how many how many people watch ultra high definition Blu-rays? Tiny tiny number. And um, Chat answer. I'd like to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't expect an answer on that. But, <laughs> but if you look at services like Netflix and Disney Plus and all that, that, that say they do 4K, but if you are like anal like I am, they, they, they don't. They're shit quality. So everybody, is, I mean, don't they? Don't they like? They don't, so we're just they, laughing at the comment. Blastroid says, "No way does Ace have a missus." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, yeah. yeah, it's they don't they don't remaster it. They just kind of like stretch it out, don't they? Yeah, no, well, no, but I'll try. So generally, if you get a film that is mastered in it properly. For mm -hmm. me, it's a significant difference. And if we're going to like watch mm -hmm. a film with the family, yeah. I'm the only one yeah. that cares. For everybody mm -hmm. else, this series S. In, yeah, <laughs> in gaming I, terms. I get a small little side note on that. Um, old animated movies, like mm -hmm. Pixar movies, they're animated in 24, se like 24 FPS, and they upgrade it to 60, and it looks so weird. Yeah, it looks well weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I remember I'm watching Monsters, just Inc. Just look, watching, just look, watching look. Monsters, Inc. and watching Sully's fur, and it just like stops every like other mm. frame and it's just so weird yeah no it does it does yeah you have to you have to see it first so it's hard to explain yeah. but yeah it's not designed but it looks weird it kind of takes you yeah. away from it. um rather, we, rather should, mine good, like, a little yeah, side, we should, side step we should <laughs> sorry yeah we should move on but i just want to say that's an interesting note that asa pointed out just that yeah. pcs will probably hold things back potentially more than the series s would the mechanical drive probably true yeah, yeah. Mm, probably absolutely. true um, another broken promise from Sony. I, I'm not hating on it. I'm just reporting uh... on this. And then I'll hate on it. Um, <laughs> the PlayStation 5 pre-order mess. So in August, Sony said uh, it wouldn't surprise reveal PS5 pre-orders. And uh, Eric Lempel, the uh, worldwide, worldwide marketing head said, I think it's safe to say we'll let you know when pre-orders will happen. It's not going to happen within a minute's notice. We're going to, at some point, let you know when you can pre-order PS5. Reality. It's so funny because we can literally, <laughs> we can literally find the clip of this. <laughs> yeah, mate. I am on the floor right now. Left. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just got shot. I'm wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> but come on, man. That was a fucking joke. I mean, every promise seems to be breaking. That pre-order. Yeah. Insane. Insane. Insane, man. Oh my. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I remember. Uh, I was, you know, I was waiting and ready to like pre order the PlayStation 5 the next day on Thursday. I went in the shower, um, did all that, and then got out. It's like, hey, it's available at Walmart. Excuse me? Oh, it's available. <laughs> and no, it, it's gone now. 
excuse me. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, Best Buy's up. Gone. Target, gone. Like, what were you doing in the what? shower? Or was that I was I was washing <laughs> myself when I got out of the shower, okay? <laughs> we're getting to TMI here. <laughs> Call it back. I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just presenting how it happened yeah. and how I missed it. Um, and it was just like an hour gone. And I was just like, yeah. what the hell just happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a mess, man. And Sony yeah. actually came out with a statement today on that thing on Twitter. And they said yeah. something on the lines of, let's be honest, that was badly handled. We'll start doing it better. The fuck yeah. that means, I don't know. Yeah. Available more. Uh, let me let me pull it up here. I have it on here. There's an interesting statement somebody in my community said about that exact tweet that you're mentioning. Which tweet, by the way, um, mm -hmm. is I mean that's fine. That's fine. I shouldn't yeah. make a case about that. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, he, he's just saying like you know this is something that a lot of companies do where it's like they just want to get ticket sales out as quick as possible so that way there's a feeling of scarcity to it. And yeah. because there is scarcity, Nintendo. then it's all the more in demand. And <laughs> look what the tweet Nintendo. said. We will have more consoles in very shortly. Mm -hmm. um, tinfoil hats on, guys. This is okay. We're, we're going to start talking about reptilians now. But no, I actually agree with you because um, they might, they, you know, you, they do this. Nintendo actually do this quite a bit as well, kind of. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Amiibo. But, Everything. Matt, are you saying something? Everything. <laughs> oh, I was, uh, I was about to say. Nintendo is just everything. A, all NES classic. Scarcity. SNES classic. Amiibo. Super Mario 3D All Stars. Like, what the heck is up with that? That yeah. that one makes me the most mad out of all of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Anyway, so, it's a tried and <laughs> tested thing. I, I don't think it's in the realm of uh, you know madness. I think there's an element of truth to that. And also, just to go on the the digital uh, bit as well, I think they're kind of uh, stifling the. Uh, or, you know availability of that for sake of perception but i don't know who knows we don't get transparency mm -hmm. in that we sound a bit like crazy people saying this but yeah um i, I mean i've um, kind of reamed out quite a few quotes on the sony and just uh jim ryan D do you think the arrogant sony is back does that damper your excitement for playstation 5 i mean i, I want to hit this Go um on, hit so it. i I was saying earlier that, you know, depending on the price, that's just the attitude that Sony has. If it's more than 500, that's them being cocky. If it's 500, they're like, we're good. If it's 450, then they're actually feel a little bit threatened by what Xbox is doing. Yeah. Um, but they don't, they feel safe. But um, I think this move personally yeah. is something that shows a bit of threatened. And yeah. here's why, because they saw you know this whole fun fact xbox was supposed to go this week as well apparently yeah, they were supposed to happen at the same time yeah bill yeah. spencer said it himself we meant to do this next week but i'm glad how our team handled this so that would have been such an interesting week if that crap happened oh, yeah. <laughs> that, too much. that wood meme they posted <laughs> Dude. oh yeah that meme. but uh oh that meme was perfect but <laughs> uh because xbox went first and xbox gives not a one day warning but they give like a straight up two week warning basically on yeah. when you can pre-order. Mm -hmm. PlayStation had the price, they had the pre-order date. We have to at least match their price. We'll still be good if we do. We don't have to undercut. Yeah. But let's mm -hmm. get ahead of them by shoving aside that warning thing and just getting it out as quick as possible before people even have a chance to consider getting an Xbox. Because that scarcity thing is gonna make them get it. Yeah. And if they already got a PS5, they're not gonna get an Xbox. Yeah. It's happened in my friend circle. Yeah, my... People have been buying those now. Mm -hmm. now they, they, my cousin is now was gonna get an Xbox. This has come out. He's kind of forced his hand, and he's buying PlayStation, even though that's actually exactly. Available. That's my buddy yeah. Ian. My buddy Ian did the same exact thing. He was gonna get an Xbox, but because this happened, he's just all of a sudden like, I have to get it now because I know I'm not gonna be able to later. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, I did get mine. So you know, I don't have to worry about yeah. that anymore. I got, I was sit, I, when the first ones went up, I just sat at my phone and like, I was waiting for it to come up on Amazon and then it did. And then oh, I got nice. it. So, well, a lot yes. of people have been unlucky. I know a guy yep. um, on our Discord hasn't got it. I really feel for him. Mm -hmm. um, and neither has Dragon. He didn't manage to get one Dragon 20. Very sorry about that, man. But hopefully Sony come through and you can get one or get an Xbox. Ooh, <laughs> um, They'll have more. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, um, Sony's, 
pre-order situation. I mean, for me personally, I, I did get one, so it worked out well for me. Um, so I'm happy there. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, they, they look like sophisticated, executing a really well-made plan compared to Nvidia this week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tried to I get didn't even keep there. up. With I oh did not man, even keep that, up with that one. That was like 20 seconds and it was gone. It 20 was... seconds? No, it never, <laughs> I, I, it never I'm, appeared. I'm still, never still, appear. I'm still never waiting. Happened. So I signed up three weeks in advance or so to get notification when this goes on sale. I'm still mm -hmm. waiting for, mm -hmm. for the email to yeah. say you can buy it now. It went, it went from <laughs> yeah. notify me to out of stock. Yeah. Instantly. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I wish they had like a waiting list system thing. Because mm. I remember um, I was getting Hamilton tickets when that came to where I was living at and they did a waiting list that like a waiting line you can like you'll get your chance when uh, whenever this person gets in line you know what I mean so I wish they did it like that that would mm -hmm. be organized the way yeah I mean what... there's an interesting note I've heard some people say where it's like yeah I signed up on that email list to be notified when PlayStation 5 is going to go on sale mm -hmm. I didn't even get the notification that they're sold <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, I think but, that, I kind of, that. every everything was a lie, <laughs> <laughs> and, and that 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 kind of. But I I think they did have plans to mm -hmm. give proper notice, but that's why mm -hmm. I'm saying I think they got threatened and they were just mm -hmm. like, we got to get this out pronto. Mm -hmm. They yeah. probably it, had plans yeah. to properly warn, but they decided to screw that and yeah. just mm -hmm. go, we got to yeah. get this out now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I actually think they also the the price was going to be a lot higher than until the Xbox Series X. Probably. Uh, yeah, well, cool. they said that they decided back in the beginning of this year. That's what they said. Nice. Mm. nice. I don't believe anything now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> they can and, say and PlayStation <laughs> never lied. <laughs> yeah. And does that does that have a damper on your on, on you? I I know for me. I mean, despite the fact that I'm, I've pre-ordered these, I'm gonna. It does nag me. It does. I like the environment. I like the community. I'm more inclined to enjoy Xbox because of the transparency. Um, mm. Because of the, you know, the positivity. The same way, turn it around with last gen. You know, I, I was, I was, I was hating on Xbox. I thought it was a joke. Uh, what were they doing? It's the true. messaging was wrong. Tony, does that kind of make you want to game on Xbox more now that the way the shit's been unraveling with Sony? It makes me feel a lot more valued. That's that's the thing. It everything Xbox is doing makes and it's their messaging. You know, they're they're all their messaging right now is about like it's about the player. Like, yeah. like that's what they keep going with. It's about the player. It's not about our exclusives. It's not about our tech. It's not about anything else. It's about the player and how do we give them the most optimal experience. Yeah. And I feel like that. I feel like Xbox is really not only trying to take care of me as like an Xbox person, and they're not trying to take care of me by saying i only have hulk in avengers um because <laughs> yeah. he's green yeah. but uh they're taking care of me by just say telling everything you know even if it's bad they just say everything they say look i love that i couldn't believe this when they were transparent saying the halo infinite delay they were like, look, Phil Spencer said, said the whole thing. I met with Matt Booty, I met with Bonnie Ross, and they were telling me they had a plan to release it, a phase by phase kind of release. Yeah. You don't have to tell us that, but he did. And yeah, I yeah. loved that shit. Yeah. yeah. He didn't have to know that, but he told Phil us Spencer, that. I love that. Phil Spencer is the man. He really is. He, he needs a yeah. buck. Well done to him. And really, that makes it, that adds a lot of positive goodwill into the brand. They didn't need to say that, like with Halo. They were, they, we had a meeting yeah. with Matt Booty and- uh, Like, we're just delaying it. We don't want to say why, but we're delaying it. Yeah. No, they explain why. <laughs> yeah, and even um, 343, they've come back and said, look, we know you're not happy mm -hmm. with the visuals. We've seen, yeah. like, you know, Colt Eastwood did like a touch-up video. We've seen that. We hear you. We're delaying it. We're going to get it right. Which yeah. means you better fucking get it right, though. You can't yeah. just- Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am hoping they get it right because Halo 5 really, like, pissed me off. Me that, I hate, I hate that game. For so many reasons, I could have go on an hour tangent about that. But if please, I just want the want them to get this right, and they seem really, really adamant on getting this right. I've heard some stories about like three, four, three industries behind the scenes is like crumbling under itself. But who knows if that's true or not? But yeah, I pray to God. I don't think so. I don't think that's a bit yeah. hyperbole. I think it's they've got more and more people mm -hmm. getting there. Their studio's massive. Yeah. You've got Jason Staten in there to get the story mm -hmm. and all that shit yep. unlocked. I think Halo could be sick. It's set on Zeta Halo, 
open mm-hmm. world. Yeah, oh, man. that's yeah. an entire podcast in itself. Invite me yeah. back for that one, please. Yeah, yeah. God. But yeah, <laughs> uh, Clayton. But to answer that question, like, of you know, this PS5 is PlayStation cocky right now. I, I I don't think they are. They're just taking this very traditional approach. That's a and sick- I. That's, I think that's what it is. It's the Ken Kutaragi kind, of, kind of approach to things. Is they're like, not yeah. willing to kind of modernize. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 they're not PS3 cocky. They're not anywhere oh, yeah. close. So that, Correct. you know, they're, we're not like 599 US dollars and four HDMI cables and Rumble's last gen technology. They're not like that. <laughs> but uh, but they, I can just definitely tell that they're putting their foot in their mouth. They definitely are. They've said so many things and they've gone back on it. And I just feel like, I don't I don't know what it is about it. I just think, you know, I was rooting for Xbox because they have been doing better. They have been doing that. I'm personally not getting an Xbox because I have a PC and yeah. all the games on Game Pass are coming to PC. So Xbox is not even a worry for me. And I still got a 1080 in my thing. So I'm going to be good for at least a few more years. Um, so, but I think, you know, it's an ecosystem now. Yeah. It's an ecosystem. It's the Xbox yeah. ecosystem. It's not just one thing. It's their gaming full their force effort their it's, their, it's their on on windows and everything else so yeah, yeah. So i'm glad you said that and i'm probably skipping to head to like the last question on the on the show now but um yeah if you look at um next gen that's coming oh no something's gone wrong i've got your camera yeah camera's, your camera's, camera's, camera's gone wrong um Bye. while that's going on um i will fix that yeah um so when you look at the playstation or the xbox um as a decision I, you can't not have the PlayStation exclusives and you can't not have Game Pass. Mm. I don't know how you can afford mm-hmm. gaming without Game Pass, whether that's on Xbox or PC. No. Yeah. Yeah. They're both, both companies have something compelling that, that you kind of need. So, yeah. 100%. Okay. I made this argument to mm. folks last night that I was just like, if Xbox didn't have Game Pass, I would probably go PlayStation. If PlayStation, mm. to be to be honest, yes, if they didn't have their exclusives, but I was also like, if they didn't have PSVR, I would totally be Xbox. Because that's something else that PlayStation mm-hmm. has over Xbox. They have VR. Mm-hmm. I don't know why oh, Xbox don't yeah. got it. But, but yeah. did they do anything with HoloLens or anything like that? Nope. No. no. <laughs> no I mean, it's too expensive, I guess, nowadays. My, I tried that Microsoft, out. It was, yeah. I tried that out once. It was the weirdest thing. But, did you? That's cool. Um, yeah. Microsoft have VR, obviously, on the PC side of things. Right? Windows Mixed Reality is there. They've got yeah, and the if you're yeah, a console but... exclusive gamer. Oh no, 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 I know. I get you entirely. Like, yeah, um, yeah. PlayStation VR is uh, is a selling point for me mm-hmm. as well. Um, not the first one because I, I just instantly feel sick in that. But the um, VR as it comes, I'm a big fan of VR, and I'm really looking forward to PSVR too. So yeah, big selling point for that console. Yeah. Um, and I guess I don't know if this is like too off topic, but I just kind of want to. The thinking future here, cloud gaming, Xbox mm-hmm. is on that oh, yeah. real nice. And I don't oh, think yeah. PlayStation is giving enough focus to PlayStation now, right now, for them to set up a good platform and for that in the future. Because, you know, they're going for the more traditional route. Obviously, they're trying to stick yeah. with that. But, and while cloud gaming, I still think has a long way to go. I agree. Xbox is getting in there, they're getting that service right. Um, they're setting a precedent, I think. Um, I know I know. Um, PlayStation did it first, but Xbox is doing it, I think, much better. Mm-hmm. And Wasn't so, there something called Google Stadia? What was that? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, the re- that's the reason cloud gaming is not going to be a huge thing for a long time. And also the thing... The thing going on with uh, <laughs> NVIDIA, GeForce Now, that whole debacle, that was a... Oh, that's a whole different thing. But yeah. yeah. I think it Xbox is, is doing the good thing while getting in that cloud game. Long but... term. Long term. Yeah, long term. They're thinking long term. Yeah. I think Xbox should have released something like the what the PlayStation is, the all digital version, and it's not that reduced, but the same specs. That would have done really well with the cloud. I've, there's some rumor that there's a Series V or something like that. Yeah. But, but it was knows. just a rumor. That's the thing. I don't That's buy just a rumor. I know. Or whatever. No. Yeah. I was t- it was totally fake, but I mean, this is a possibility. So. Well, you mentioned we've got X Cloud. It's actually a sick point because, uh, you know, Sony can't mm-hmm. compete on that. They can't compete on it. And no. to the point where they've actually had to get in bed with Microsoft to, uh, mm-hmm. you know, jump on yeah. the Azure mm-hmm. service. Mm-hmm. So, and that's I do want point. to defend them a little bit. They have PlayStation, what's it called? Remote Play, but you have to do that at home. Yeah, shit. That. And they are, and they are expanding their exclusives to PC slowly but surely. Yeah. Yeah. So. And like and like Matt said, PlayStation Now is kind of cool too. So, 
Um, PlayStation Now doesn't get talked about enough. I have to because say because they it's don't focus on it enough. They don't talk about it enough. They yeah. just kind of neglect it. <laughs> I broke that down to people last night where it's like, because if you look at PlayStation Now, it's a cheaper service with a bigger catalog. And then Game Pass is like, it is actually a little bit more expensive if you get Ultimate. It And it doesn't have as many games, but they're all current. Yeah. That's, and you can that's play kind of them difference. on other devices. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. So. Yeah. And I don't, and you know, the Sony released a statement where they said that they, um, they wouldn't, because they, they think Game Pass is unsustainable. They will never do what Microsoft. Yeah. That to me is almost like the nail in the coffin for PS Now if it's ever going to compete with Game Pass, um, mm -hmm. because that's the big thing. Day and date games, you when they cost seventy quid, I can play Halo, not for free, uh, but you know Halo. You know I can mm -hmm. play. I've been playing Flight Sim. I've been saved so much money just this year from Game Pass. And it's gonna, you know, that's why PlayStation now is gonna be in the back burner for a lot of things. Cause You're just gonna spend it all on, uh, on fucking uh, like in-game consumables. Yeah, okay, don't, don't, don't <laughs> judge yeah. me. Oh, man, in-game in -game consumables. consumables. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's, yeah, I, I think that's a big thing. Like, you know, 2.2 million PS Plus, sub, uh, PS Now subscribers versus now we're talking, uh, apparently it's at 15 million now uh, for Xbox Game Pass. That's crazy for a console that's been mm -hmm. outsold two to one, man. Um, yeah. So you're, you're right, man. Next gen, uh, long term games are, this is a very different gen, but very mm -hmm. exciting. I know it's it been, is. It's been yeah. negative uh, because of Sony's negativity and all the shit they're doing, but yeah. uh, ultimately, strip it back. Mm -hmm. Next gen is going to be super positive because of the sheer strength of the competition. It's yeah. so hot now. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the consoles are, and the consoles are actually more powerful, a much bigger power leap, I think, than the last one. It wasn't oh, yeah. that big of yeah. a one than the last time. Yeah. So I like that they're adding the big new features like ray tracing and stuff like that. And those hard drives that, you know, PCs can't hard yeah. drives, dude. Yeah, uh, that's, a, it, it, that's a little bit of an issue for me because the hard drive that they provide on the PS5 is so small and also on the Series X. Oh so yeah. Small. Yeah, and I heard Miles Morales is going to be 100 gigabytes oh, or that. something like that. So you can probably only get to fit like five or six games on your one Good hard thing they cost 70 yeah. quid. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, they're going to have, you're going to have to buy extra external drives for that. So it's, it's part of, um, I'll let the solution. panel know that my biggest questions about next gen have to do with memory. It's yeah. an entire thing I could ramble about, but th yeah, that's I, I would, all I my talked about lie. that. I talked about that like way back in February because I knew that was going to be a huge issue. Um, yes, yeah. um, I can imagine oh. there was like there was a, a remote meeting. I can't have a meeting at Sony HQ at the moment, but there was a remote meeting and they went, this hard drive is really small. What are we going to do about it? And someone chimed in and went, let's charge so much for the games that they don't fill it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ticket. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to happen. Um, Create the problem, sell the solution. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a really good model for yeah. Sony, but um, uh, yeah, no, I think that the memory thing is is a, is a big issue because you know Call of Duty right now is like two hundred gigs. God knows what next gen is going to be. Like. Tape. That's that's insane. Um, so like you know eight hundred mm -hmm. was it twenty five or thirty five gig for the PlayStation Five? Yeah, PlayStation Five is eight hundred twenty five. But then it's got hundred. Which gigs. again, they live the middle ground because their prices and those memories they they are literally the middle ground that's a playstation is kind yeah. of yeah yeah it's a very different playstation whereas a non-compromised solution it's all like all, all a bit weird i don't know and then i think a hundred gig of it's being used for system stuff anyway reserved is it not Asa? i don't like know what they reserve for the system to be honest um i think about 125 150 which means that's 100 know. for for a no, they wouldn't save that much for the system OS, no. Is it not? Okay, I might be wrong then. But I think I it's quite... It would not be that much. Yeah, okay. We'll see. Yeah. I'll take it with you. I won't I, take Jim Ryan's I'll just, I'll just like to point out as well, I just realized this. With all the chat about Spider-Man, Matt looks exactly like Tom Holland. <laughs> he's like, I kind of, I never really thought about it like that. What? What's going on? What's going on? He's just got Surprise, a little bit more round. Tom Holland, guys. <laughs> you actually look exactly I, I punked every single one of you guys. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. I can't even say anything about that. Yeah, I, I need to start cosplaying as him. I, mean, I guess. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, seriously, that's a, that's you could stunt double for him any day. For real, <laughs> if you can do no, stunts. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do not do stunts. No. no, no, no. <laughs> um, speaking of current gen, just to tie up 
the last few topics now. I think we've kind of talked over next gen. Have you guys got Super Mario 3D All Stars? Fuck that. Not yet. <laughs> I, 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 so I have just screamed. I have got it. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He ordered I, uh, <laughs> um, One, I've been busy with school. And I've been right. very, very busy with this weekend, especially with it. So I've been doing that. Um, and sixty dollars, man. Oh my yes. goodness, for for remaster. I know, I know the remasters and stuff like that. But hey, for, it's yeah. three remasters. Yeah, exactly. Um, but um, someone in the chat is gonna get one. So if you've left a comment, or you haven't commented, or you're sitting there doing what you're doing quietly watching us, make sure you comment because we're giving a game or Super Mario Three D All Stars away. Um, Matt, you can comment as well. <laughs> yeah, I was about uh, to say I've been in the chat here already. I just, so, uh... I, I just wanted to focus. I just wanted to focus on this. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I get easily distracted. Yeah, no. Um, well, what about you, Tony? You excited for Super Mario Three? Also, have you got it or looking to get it? Yeah. So it's funny. Yes. So I was just really debating about getting it because when I first saw it, I was like, dude, this looks rad. Because <laughs> I love, I as much as I spend most of my time on my Xbox. My Switch is actually most my most valued console just yeah. because I love what it can do. I love taking it with me when I travel and while I wait. It's it's I'm never bored. <laughs> and I love the idea of having these to me like these three favorite Mario games of mine on the go. But uh I didn't get it because Nintendo <laughs> came out of nowhere and has a lot going on this season apparently. Well, a little bit. Yeah. Like Pikmin is my Iron. favorite Nintendo franchise that's coming. And then the, the mm -hmm. Zelda thing with the Hyrule Warriors, that's a prequel mm -hmm. to Breath of the Wild. I'm like, dude, I can't get all three of you. Which one do I get? So yeah. I'm, I'm kind of in that debate. Yeah. And I have till March to decide. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is a bit of a shitty thing, really. Um, yeah, uh, Because yeah, you have either get it now or don't mm -hmm. get it at all. I don't understand that. That's a whole topic. I, I feel they're going to backtrack on that at some point. I, think so. I feel like, yeah. It could be the PlayStation move where they say this now <laughs> yeah. to make it feel scarce. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I think most, around. you know, I think most gaming companies are doing that nowadays. The same one thing and then going back on it. It's a limited oh, it's, supply, it's, guys. It's, it's Nintendo. They'll take away the supply and they'll sell the three games yeah. separately for 60 quid each. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are the apple of gaming. They're, they're Again, gonna... please don't tell them. Please do not tell them. <laughs> yeah, don't tell but them. I do want to say those games look rad. Like, I, yeah. if you got it, like Matt's got it, that's awesome, dude. I like, yeah, yeah. my yeah, buddy's been playing it. it, he's loving it. I, I'm happy that we actually got that. I think it's awesome. Yeah. I love him so much. <laughs> yeah. uh, Monster Hunter Rise is releasing 26 March. Yeah, that Blasteroid mm. I know is I'm just addicted to that game. Um, and looks sick on Switch. Uh, I can't wait for the Switch Pro. Uh, that thing is gonna sell like mad. Um, Cyberpunk gameplay, guys, did you guys manage to check out? Because I, this is the game I'm actually hyped out about. Mm. That's for me is a next gen. A game. lot of people. <laughs> I've not been keeping up with that that much, honestly. Yeah, that mm. game is insane. Did you uh, see it, you know uh, the latest gameplay clips for it? it? Just makes it looks sick every time they show it off. Matt, this is interesting because you and I are on a somewhat same page here because for <laughs> some reason this is the most anticipated game of the year, but I just have not been following it enough. Me neither. Me neither. Really? You're not you're not really into the cyberpunk or not hyped about it? Or? So, I've just, so I just I like, just you go ahead, Matt. I, I I never played any of the Witcher games or any other CD Project Red game. Yeah. I have Witcher 3 on my computer, but I've just never played it. In There's games. a many games I'd have, but I've just never played that I need to get yeah. around to. So um and and for me it's my best friend in the world he is like drooling for this because he's all about like the cyberpunk genre and yeah. he's like this game is that exactly it's named yeah. after yeah. it it's in um name. yeah and i get excited for people so i'm like i'm just stoked for people for yeah. this game but like on a personal level i tried i watched like these night wires i'm like okay halo infinite's not coming out in november I now have a free <laughs> slot. <laughs> yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I'm like trying to get interested. And I'm just like, it's one of those games that's just severely impressing me. I'm just not motivated to play it for I some. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know, know why. I'm just like, uh, well, not with with The Witcher. I was uh, like that, and I know I know exactly what you mean. Which makes me hope that if you do get to play it, it will just blow your socks off. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Like you're not yeah. super hyped about it. you tried to be and then it's like bam that's sick Ren renardo saying he can't wait and you you're <laughs> renardo 
Not Ronaldo. <laughs> Ren Ren Ronaldo. Ronaldo Howard, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, uh, Chris says, I'm touching myself as you caress me to sleep with your voice, Gaz. Um, there are some comments you don't need to read out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay Chris, know. that's Talk not... more about cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's not appropriate, yeah. and uh, I'll jump in your DMs tonight. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, uh, Shab, were you excited about cyberpunk? I am, yeah. Visually, it looks amazing. It's that kind of... I like that future dystopian... It's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, I like it. I like it. Um, I haven't seen this new gameplay, though. So. Yeah, there are a few shots. I did watch that, by the way. Yeah, looks great. Actually, don't watch it. I think don't watch it because you kind of want to go blind. I don't want to see too much yeah. of a game as well. And kind of don't ruined. say that, guys. It's playing on the stream again at the moment. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 stream one, I can't see it. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ronaldo, oh, I got it right. Thank you. Sorry if I, uh, I thought I didn't. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm hyped. I, I'm hyped about it. And just that's a good segue into next gen. A lot of positivity when you strip up all the politics of it all. Next Gen is going to be sick. Brady's super excited for Cyberpunk. I think we all are. Um, and yeah, I just can't wait for that. Um, so yeah, I think that kind of... Shaman Gaz are like Angry Joe and Little Joe. It's quite funny because he's quite little. Um, but... <laughs> and you're quite angry. <laughs> it's kind of true, um, actually. Uh, yeah, just the Asian versions of those guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think kind of wrapping it up, I, I really want to make a point just want to thank Tony and Matt for coming. I'm big fans of, uh, I mean, if you joined late, um, as I was saying earlier in the stream, I actually came across uh, Tony's channel like at the start and I just found it so funny. It was the the Xbox One reveal at the uh, Xbox game, uh, the VGAs, the, the Video Game Awards. Yeah. And the, the reaction was so genuine because I had the same experience. I was like, what's this, a car, a football game? And then Master Chief comes on and the chair's like, oh shit. And then you, you describe I love my community made a gif out of that, man. It's my favorite gif ever. Just me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like so amazed. It's my favorite yeah. gif ever, dude. I've seen that so many times and that's, I've watched that. It just makes me laugh. I had to share it. Um, mm. And so guys do check out uh, Samurai KBG's channel. It's the, the reactions, you know, lots of reaction videos are really shit in my opinion, I'll be honest. But mm. your, yours and Matt's are brilliant. Because they, they're one, yeah. they're genuine, and yeah. two, your character comes out in those, and they're really good. So, description guys, do check it out. And Tony, where can uh, people find you other than your YouTube channel? Well, you probably see it on the screen, but Samurai Kibiji is my main channel. There is also, if you're an anime lover, there's West Side Otaku for you. But um, my pretty much all my branding, if you just Google Samurai Kibiji, you'll find Facebook, you'll find Twitter, you'll find Twitch, you'll find uh, Instagram. I'm trying to be more better on there, though. But yeah, I just like to build game hype with folks and also encourage them to be geek proud, awesome, AKA love your interests, own your interests, and you will attract the people that will fulfill an awesome life for you. So thank check you. out Samurai Kibiji, appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, no, thank you. Thank you so much again. For... If you can spell Kibiji successfully, if you can, it's on screen. <laughs> I was calling you Kibiji for a while, by the way. So uh, I've got hey, it I appreciate right. it, man. <laughs> Um, and Matt, again, I know you, you came in last minute, but your channel mm. is sick. And guys need to Thank check you, out man. Matt's channel. And Thank you've been you, great man. on the show. You've been sick on the show. Thank um, you, man. Yeah, really, really, really glad that you came in as well. And you look like Tom No Holland. problem. And you look like Tom Holland. Yeah. <laughs> so good. So, Tom, Tom Holland, hello, it. everybody. <laughs> He's fine. I've got his British. <laughs> yeah. um, so where else can um, people find you? Uh, um, I mainly just go on Twitter at LokiMattYT. That's where I post all of my fun shenanigans and stuff like that. Um, and I also have a Discord server if you want to go ahead and join that. And that's oh, yeah. some fun times over there. So yeah, there you go. Hundred percent, I'm out. But definitely, guys, do check it out. These guys are are, are sick, and it's been a sick show. It's been Smashing, just yeah. it's a smash. This is great. It's yeah. fun. It was just yeah, I loved our banter. This is good. <laughs> good fans. It was good fans. Thanks, man. Um, Thank Asa. You. Thank you for you know keeping this going. You're, I'm constantly nervous. But, I'm, but I'm just crossing my fingers that my PC doesn't shut down. Bang on I'm eight o'clock, we've gone. <laughs> and <it's> like, <laughs> we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Come on. Um, thanks again for joining. Sham, Sam, my two bros, you guys smashed yeah. it. Um, thank yep. you again. And yep. yeah, you know this is what it's about: bringing games together. Thank you so much, everybody in the chat. One of you guys Peace is going to get the mario thing i'm just gonna have to re watch the video again see who commented and just do a raffle or do it 
in front well, of you well, so you know I'm not just making it. We can video it. We can video it. I can video it on Twitter. Yeah. Just follow me on yeah. Twitter. I'll Instagram, That's Instagram what it. Do. I'll Instagram <laughs> it. And, yeah. uh, no, and stop in your DMs as well. Um, Chris, Chris, <laughs> you're, you're a fun <laughs> one over there. <laughs> <I> said, <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining the show. Uh, it's been amazing. Every Saturday, 8 p.m. BST. We've got a shitload of videos coming as well. We're filming another one tomorrow and it's going to be dank. Do check out these guys. And I did say dank fuck. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you. Like and subscribe. We're just starting and we're growing. So please join us on that journey. Thank you very much. Take it. Peace. 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 All right. Later.